Wow, yeah, that's quick guys. G'day guys, today on the bench we're going to have a look and test out the new Hosom Vortan or X25 Truggy here. Now Hosom are calling this Truggy a 1.8 scale which um, the size of the box it doesn't look like it. it's a true 1.8 scale. So anyway, I'm going to put this uh, side by side. I'm going to get it out of the box against one of my 1.8 scale RCs. And you'll see the size comparison is a bit different. Uh, this is basically a true 1.10 scale car. All right, now on the side of the box here are a few of the specs. Okay, there's the uh, dimensions of the RC itself. So we've got an LED light bar on the front. It's got a nine kilogram digital high torque servo. I'm guessing that's gonna be a metal geared servo. We've got a 3660, I believe it's a 3100 kV brushless motor. It's got a heat sink and a fan. Wheelie bar, nylon swing arms, and uh, it's got an 85 amp brushless ESC receiver combo. And they're stating that it can take a 4S battery. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. Uh, I've got a similar scale car or truck from a different brand that runs on this chassis and that was only 3S compatible. So I'm going to bring out a 4S with me, rubber tires of course, and metal oil filled shocks. Now on this side of the box they got a diagram of their new heli cow or spiral cut diff gears, okay, and out drives. They're saying the oversized gearbox with upgraded chrome steel heli cow gear, okay. They're made out of cadmium hardened steel it says on their listing and uh, they state that these are so durable they've tested them about 300 different times so uh, that's what their claim on the box we'll see how they hold up and we've got the motor specs there that I've already gone through and it's a Hosom branded can motor there with the cooling fan and heat sink so anyway guys let's uh, get into the box have a look at this car and then we'll take it out for a bash. All right, we've got the truck out of the box, and as you can see, as always, Hosom have some pretty decent presentation, even with the cardboard in their boxes. So let's get everything out of this bag to start off with. Have a quick look. We have a Hosom card of some sort. Okay, this is like a customer service card. Got a QR code. Got another one, sincere regards all their uh, contact information. We've got the website, host some uh, QR codes, all their social medias. And we've got a one year protection plan for uh, your warranty. We've got the user manual here for the X25. And host them always make really good colored photo manuals. Um, I've reviewed a few of their cars in the past and yeah, really nicely put together manuals. We've got, of course, our uh, page for parts and exploded diagrams as well. So, very handy to have. Make sure you don't lose this, uh, especially if you're new to the hobby. You haven't stripped down any cars before or repaired any cars. Always good to have this uh, user manual. That way, you won't get lost when you pull the car apart. We have this little nylon bag and full of accessories here. So we've got a cleaning brush, just there, Velcro strap, USB charger for the 3S battery, 
four body clips with little tabs. Another bag here with some more tethered body clips this time. Let's have a look. Okay guys, so I got everything out of the bag. I decided to lay them out because I had these pins rolling away from me on the bench. So yeah, we got the four hex pins with the Allen wrench there. We have a set of wheel nuts, those four tethered body clips. And we've got a couple of screwdrivers and the wheel nut wrench. So that's what comes in that little bag. All right, before we have a look at the truck itself, this is the transmitter we get with the Hosum. Very common Hosum or XLF transmitter. We've got all our dual rates and trims up the top here. A couple of reverse switches and on and off switch. It does take four AA batteries and uh, it feels pretty decent in the hand. Very lightweight transmitter, even with the batteries in it. But uh, we've got a nice foam grip on the wheel. You can drive it one handed and a pretty smooth uh, trigger on there as well. So. I think this gives us a range of around 100, maybe 120 meters from memory. So uh, yeah, that's a little transmitter we get with it. Now onto the X25 itself. It's got oil filled shocks. It actually feels a little bit more plush on the front than the back. The back seems a little bit uh, stiffer. As you can see on a rebound, it sort of lifts up and bounces on the back. Got a massive wing. On the back here too, wheelie bar, pretty strong looking wing. Got some decent oil filled shocks here, metal cased, and some pretty beefy looking uh, tie rods there. They look like they're adjustable. And of course, metal uh, CVDs and dog bones. Pretty beefy looking nylon swing arms as well, lower control arms. Got open center diffs, and these discs feel really loose guys like there's very little oil or maybe no oil at all i hope there is uh, just check the front yeah very loose as well on the front we've got cvds the c hubs look pretty decent as well the tires have got a lot of grip and they do have foam in them okay they are air filled as well so yeah they got the host and branding on the sidewall not a bad looking tire they should hold up and hook up pretty good on the dirt on the front here, we have a pretty chunky bumper with a LED light bar, series of six LEDs. Truggy body shell, of course. We've got some skid plates on the top here, so that should uh, make this uh, body shell pretty durable. Take these body pins off. Have a look underneath. Got some bracing there for the uh, skid plates. And here is the electronics, guys. So we've got metal chassis braces on the top, okay? Uh, there's the 3S battery, 2600 milliamp hour, 11.1, 25C, uh, runs on a Dean's plug, it's covered up here, so I've got to take that off. Uh, there's the all-in-one ESC receiver combo, 85 amp, um, 4S compatible, stamped on the side there, 85 amp, on and off button. We also have some extra light buckets here, there's a little antenna. And on this side, we of course have that 3660 motor, 3100 kV with a heat sink and a uh, cooling fan. This does have a center differential as well, uh, much like another model that I've got from a different brand. But uh, as you can see, this diff, these diffs really loose, guys. So um, anyway, I'm going to run it the way it is out the box. And there is the 9 kilogram servo with a aluminium servo horn. And a pretty chunky servo saver there. All right. So anyway, guys, I'm going to run this as is out the box. I'm not going to bother with uh, changing the fluids. Uh, my concern is that these tires might balloon up, uh, even with the center differential. Uh, yeah, it just seems like a bit of a lack of oil in them, guys. They're just super loose. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, anyway. Let's take it out. Um, I'm going to do a quick speed test first We're on, on 3S and then we'll try 4S and we'll take it bashing on 3S. But uh, yeah, overall the construction of this RC is looks pretty tough. I think it could take a bit of a hammering, uh, especially look at the front uh, bracing here. It's got like a double uh, impact zone there. And on the rear, we've got a double one as well, just on top of, stacked on top of each other. But yeah, it's got a bit of a flex, but pretty, rigid on the front bumper so it should take a good good hit if we happen to nosedive so 
All right, guys, charging up that battery, the 3S, the 2600. I'm going to um, prepare a uh, 4S as well. Put the speedometer on it, we'll test it out, and then, uh, yeah, we'll take it bashing, see how it holds up. All right, guys, first off, before I take it bashing, I want to test the speeds of the X25 from Hosom here. Now, because this is a 3 and 4S compatible truck, I do also have a 4S LiPo here that I'm going to be using. It's a HRB 2200 milliamp hour 50C. And coincidentally, this happens to be the exact same length uh, and width as the standard 2600 milliamp hour 3S. So, yeah, you probably noticed uh, when I was doing the unboxing, the battery bay is a pretty odd size. Uh, standard size lipos will not fit this truck, but that 4S that I just showed you um, is exactly the same dimension. So if you want to go 4S, you're going to have to try to find a battery uh, like that one that I just showed now, you. So yesterday afternoon, I actually took this for a quick test run at a local sports field. And I'm glad I did because uh, I soon found out that this particular truck that I've got here doesn't have the best range. So I can't really fully send it far away up and down the street so um just gonna go within probably around 70 to 80 meters in each direction so let's see this is all uh reset let's uh see how fast it can go on the uh standard 3s battery see if we're uh trimmed out okay not too bad now like i said they had the bench there these um these diffs are really loose guys there's no resistance whatsoever now i can see already the front tires are actually ballooning up now, i'm not going to send it too far guys because i will lose range and the truck will keep going i've soon found that out yesterday at the sports field. I'm glad I actually took it for a test run on grass before uh, trying it out on the road. Otherwise, I would have found out the hard way. All right, that'll do. Should get a number out of that. I was full throttle. But uh, just check out the front tires here. I'm going to do a slow motion. You see when I take off how the fronts just balloon up, right? Full throttle. See that, guys? So, yeah, the center differential in this is really loose as well. I doubt there's any grease or oil in there at all. If there is, uh, it's, it's going to be pretty lightweight. All right. Stop. We've got 68 kilometers an hour, which is pretty decent speed out of this truck on 3S, guys. They do claim up to 80 kilometers an hour on the box. So uh, I'll put that up in, let me take a screenshot first. I'll put that up in miles per hour. That's not a bad speed on the street on a pretty heavy truck here. You know, this has got some weight to it. It's uh, got an aluminium chassis. So um, yeah, it's not a lightweight truck by any means. So uh, yeah, 68 k's an hour on the standard battery. I'm gonna put that 4S uh, HRB LiPo in there. It's a 2200 milliamp hour 50C discharge. We'll see if we can get that 80 k's. I'm thinking that we might do. So let's uh, give that a go. So as I was explaining before, if you wanna get some 4S batteries, you wanna to try to go for these HRB 2200 milliamp hour batteries. What I'll do, I'll try to search for a link on AliExpress. I actually bought these from eBay, I think. Uh, over a year ago, but uh, I'll see if I can find a link. So if you're interested in buying batteries for this particular truck, as you can see, it's not a standard size battery bay here. This pack happens to be the exact same size and width as the original battery. All right, so uh, let's put this in here. We'll see if we can get to that 80 kilometers an hour. Okay, so we zeroed out. Let's try it out on this 4S. Take it easy, start off with, send it down the road a bit. I think the uh, full throttle straight off a dig would uh, blow the 
foams out of these tires. Wow. <laughs> That's quick, guys. Starting to skate around. Front wheels are just ballooning way too hard. You can actually hear them ballooning. All right, so I've got to watch out with the range on this, like I said. Wish I could fully send it down the road, but... Oh, don't want to hit any curbs. Still have to bash it just yet. <laughs> don't want to break it into a curb. Yeah, those uh, those tires are just ballooning like crazy, guys. Definitely ride a wheelie now. Look at that. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. I think it got the 80. It certainly looked like it was around 80, if not a lot more. So let's see. Oh, we've got 79. Wow. All right. Maybe I'll give it a quick one more pass. All right, let's try it out. Let's see if we can get to the 80. It's just, um, like I said, I can't really, I'm not really keen on taking it too far down the road because of the lack of range that I had yesterday. All right, I held on to it a bit longer. I got on the throttle a bit sooner then. One more pass. Again, too close to that curb for my liking. <laughs> All right, I think we might have just got 80 on this run. Okay. All right, we got 84, guys. So there you go, guys. 84 kilometers an hour. That's pretty good out of a $250 US ready to run truck that's for us compatible so that's what we're going to get i'll put that in miles per hour i'll take a screenshot of that speed and uh yeah it can indeed do what it says on the box guys it said 80 kilometers an hour we got 84 so that's pretty awesome all right guys let's uh take it off-road bashing now and see how it performs off-road really looking forward to beating on this thing and see how durable it is all right guys we got the x25 hosom bortan out at the BMX track, so let's see how it bashes off road. Nice. Yeah, the front diff is really uh, loose. I see it's ballooning up on the dirt here. Suspension's not too bad. All right, let's see how it does on the smaller jump. Nice. Oh, I couldn't quite get a backflip there. See how it does on the berm. Whoa. It just doesn't have enough momentum because the wheels are, well, the dips are so loose doesn't have enough momentum to do a backflip. Oh, just got one in there. <laughs> I take back my words then. <laughs> oh, bad stack. No damage.
Ties are gripping pretty good on those booms. Yeah, nice. Decent air, it's got pretty good air control. You can bring it back rather easily. Yeah, we got that back flip in, nice. This reminds me very much like the uh, ooh, XLF F22A, built on the same chassis. Very similar setup, except the XLF version uh, couldn't handle a 3S. The 85 amp ESC was only 3S compatible. And I actually reviewed the F22A down at this track a couple of years ago. Nice! Yeah, jumps really well. Nice. Yeah, I'm liking this truck so far. Got decent power on the standard 3S. That's what I'm running on now. I just uh, used the 4S for the speed run to see what sort of speed we could get. And it's pretty fast on the 4S, that's for sure. Nice transition over those two jumps. Just see how it does on these smaller jumps. Tires are pretty grippy. Not too bad at all. Nice. Yeah, pretty decent air control. Apart from when I stuff up like that. <laughs> yeah, so far guys, for 250 US dollars, this ain't a bad buy at all. Great basher. Land on its wheels. All right, I think the battery popped out. Unless that's a low battery, I'm not too sure, but during that jump, it cut out. Uh, looks like low battery, guys. We've got the lights flashing on the front. Probably can see that. So there you have it, guys. That is the end of that battery. So yeah, I enjoyed this. This is a really great basher. As you can see, it jumps really well. The diffs, however, could definitely do with some thick oil. That's the next thing I'm gonna do to this truck. And that center dip as well needs looking at. I could probably guarantee there's hardly any oil in there at all. Uh, it's just too loose. And uh, yeah, all the power, when you take off especially, just goes to the front wheels before it goes to the rear. So to even that out, yeah, definitely want to have a look at all the fluids in all the diffs and yeah, rectify that issue with uh, putting some very heavyweight fluid in there, which I'm going to be doing. 
before I take it out next. But anyway, guys, other than those minor fixes, you know, with the oil and the diffs, this thing performed awesome for the price. It's only $250, maybe even cheaper if there's a coupon code. I'll leave a link in the description below to host them on Amazon as well as their uh, website. So yeah, for the money, guys, you're getting a pretty decent performance out of this uh, Truggy. You know, it's very fast on the speed test on 3 and 4S. We got nearly 90 kilometers an hour on the 4S. And uh, yeah, guys, it proved, you know, pretty decent out here on the track. Very durable truck. Nothing broke, just a few scrapes from the gravel, which is to be expected. So anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a good old thumbs up. And uh, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and comment down in the comment section below. So until next time, guys, enjoy the hobby as always. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video.